earlier I showed you the beautiful little apartment slash hotel room that we got for the few nights that we are here in Mexico City. But on Monday, we get on a flight to go to Medellin, Colombia. The thing about flying when you're going from country to country is sometimes there's a lot of work to this. Sometimes there's a little work, sometimes there's a lot of work, but there's always work. First of all, one of the things that I'm going to have to do is repack some of these bags because there's a lot of things in the wrong bags. And because we made some changes due to some of the customs things that we went through, I have lost some things and I don't know where they have gone to. And we need to move things because we generally keep a system so that we can find things relatively easily. The other thing, well, that I just got done doing is I just sat most of the day right over there doing things like getting an onward ticket. What is an onward ticket, you ask? An onward ticket is something that we use to let the next country know that we are leaving. Now, we don't always have our travel planned three months in advance or six months in advance or however many months that we're planning to spend in a place. So... We buy an onward ticket for each of us, costs about $15 a piece, that shows proof that we have a ticket or that we have a reservation for a ticket. And in 48 hours, it just goes away. And then I'm free to make whatever plans I want to make as I make them. But it helps me go from country to country. So I did that today. And so when you come into Mexico City, you go through an automated booth and you scan your passport and you walk into the booth and you take your glasses off and they take a picture of your face and I guess it matches your picture to your passport and your travel information and all of that. And then they give you these little receipts, which I'm not going to flip around, um, but they have a bunch of writing and a QR code on them. And there's one for each of us. And then you have to scan the QR code and get your FMM, which is like your travel form for Mexico. And you have to keep it, a digital copy of it, to show if you were stopped by the police or anything like that. But you also have to show it when you're on your way out of the country. So I took care of that because we're leaving in three days. So I wanted to get taken care of now. And because we're going into Colombia, they have another form that's very similar to the FMM in Mexico that you have to fill out when you enter and when you leave. It is called the Check MIG. Check, C H E C K dash mig m-i-g is check migration and you have to fill out a bunch of information about when you're coming in and what place you're coming from and where your residency is and your passport number and where you're going to be staying and all that kind of stuff and then they send you another form completely filled out with all the information on it for migration when you go into the country you show it to the immigration people and they know you've already taken care of that. And when you're on your way out, you will have done the same thing 72 hours in advance of travel. You do the same thing. And again, you show it on your way out. So I got that taken care of today. So we are ready. Um, short of repacking the bags, which I will work on later. We are ready to exit Mexico in a couple of days because all we really have is the rest of today. Most of tomorrow, although I do want to get a nap sometime during the day, because we will have to be at the airport by 2 a.m.-ish, because Mexico City can be kind of crazy, and I want to make sure they're early enough. And for international flights, they always say three hours early, not that you ever really have to be. But And so we're ready.